friends, we're starting off this cheat day with some crumble. I want to say thank you for clicking on the video. We're going to roll right into this. We have some crumble cookies of the week. So I got raspberry donut. I have honey bun, cowboy I something. Which one is this? Cowboy cookie. And then uh, I got the new cookies and cream Oreo. I am going to start off with the cowboy cookie little bit behind i am not a fan of coconut but this one did look good though mm. what do I like oh, oatmeal and stuff warm oatmeal cookie filled with tasty semi-sweet chips coconut and toasted pecans mm. very light hint of coconut 640 calories <laughs> All right, thank you guys for clicking on a new video. We are starting off this cheat day with some crumble. Look at that. Now, for not liking coconut, this cowboy cookie cookie it was really good. I just cleaned my car too. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Let's give this honey bun a try. I'm very curious to see if this even tastes like a honey bun. Not quite getting the honey bun taste, but it tastes like a glazed cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, crumble is a little far left field with this one. It didn't really taste like a honey bun. Um, I grew up eating honey buns, and this did not taste like that. All right, we're on to the raspberry donut. I'm very excited for this one. I knew it was going to crumble off. Here it is. If I didn't get in my car. Oh, it's that jam, baby. Now, I'm a big jam fan. I love jam donuts, jam cookies, and this one did it for me. I really did enjoy the jam centering on this, the little bit of raspberry jam. This one doesn't taste like a raspberry donut, but it's still good. Obviously, because it's a cookie. Last but not least, the one I'm looking forward to the most, the chocolate crumb. <laughs> this one is really delicious. However, it is sweet. It is also the highest calorie cookie this week. We got ourselves the chocolate crumb. This one was super sweet, but super delicious. Last light bite, best bite. Oh, it was sweet. Man, this is hard. I'd probably go chocolate crumb is my favorite, number one. Number two would be the cowboy cookie. Three would be, which ones did I eat? I totally just forgot. Honey bun. Or no, three would be the raspberry donut, then the honey bun. So, it's a crumble review of the week, guys. guys so we're back at the house i got my order to go this is the hickory hollow large rancher so this is pretty much close to the challenge it comes with two sides i got um, a baked potato also got mac and cheese and i did get dessert all right guys i wasn't even recording i just poured the gravy on there and uh this this gravy there's still some in here they give you so much but uh, i got the chicken fried steak ready this is a, the closest thing to the big i think it's called the big rancher I think, I don't know what I got. I got something that's super close. This is like over 20 ounces of chicken fried steak, a baked potato, mac and cheese. Let's dig in. Do you need a knife for this? Should be tender enough to where you can just eat it. I've had chicken fried steak very few times in my life. 
let's just enjoy it. This place was also featured on the Travel Channel in the Food Network. Like I said, I haven't had much chicken broad steak, <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> I use my hands for some of this. All right, guys, so this is the closest size that I could find at the challenge. It's really close, actually, in size when I saw pictures. Well, I, I could. <laughs> Now, this was at Hickory Hollows. This is the saddlebag. It's over 22 ounces of chicken fried steak. I mean, I may need a fork for the, uh, the a knife for the meat. Ooh, that meat's good. This challenge is fairly old too. It's one of like the first challenges in Houston. That crispiness of the batter. This gravy's good too. I honestly can't tell you guys the last time I had chicken fried steak. It was in Michigan, I think, at like Bob Evans or something. All in all, guys, this put me back $27. Yeah, $27. I am you a lot of food. Now, I think this is actually the first ever food challenge slash cheat day that you guys have seen me do chicken fried steak, and it was utterly delicious. Now, if you're in Houston, definitely go check out Hickory Hollows. They don't have the challenge, but I'm gonna check back with them again. This might be called the saddlebag now that I'm thinking about it. Up next, we got some mac and cheese. Mmm. There you go, mac and cheese. Reminds me of KFC. What do you guys think of this mic? Do you like it? Do you think I should go back to my shotgun mic? I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Next, we have our baked potato. And then we got dessert after this. Let's break this up. I'm gonna pour some of that gravy on it. Mmm, <laughs> it's a good potato. They know what they're doing. We gotta get a burp. Got a little bit of chives in there too. Not onions, chives. Oh, you know I love my onions. <laughs> so this actually was the best potato I've had in a very long time. This baked potato was so delicious, guys. This is a good baked potato, man. It's like the perfect amount of cheese, sour cream. It's delicious. Who else eats the skin of the potato? I think you have to. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, eat that skin, it'll help you poop. <laughs> Got that fiber in it. So this was delicious, like I said, guys. It's probably one of the best baked potatoes I've had in a while. Just had to reassure you guys that this is the best baked potato I've had in a long, long time.
That was insanely delicious. All right, let's see how their carrot cake, almost said cheesecake, is. If I can open it. I'm excited. All right, check that out. That looks delicious. I have no idea what kind of frosting this is. It's not too sweet either. That's pretty good. I will be hitting up some other restaurants like the Burger Barn. That's the one that Beard Meat Food took on when he was in Houston. So I'm going to give that one a try in the upcoming weeks. That was a great meal. Too bad they didn't have the challenge, but still thoroughly enjoyed it. We got Burger King, we got a Whopper, we got fries, got croissants, and now I'm gonna make an ice cream sandwich out of Ben and Jerry's. So here is the little cards that we're gonna be using. The, for the questions, I'm gonna ask one before I even start eating. Hmm. <laughs> How would you improve shoes? Hmm. I'd probably bring back the pump. You know the pump on the tongue of the shoe? They used to have those at like if you went to Kmart. I don't even think Kmart exists anymore, but my dogs are going nuts over here. But you, if you could pump up your shoes, that'd be sick if we could bring that back. We're gonna go into the Whopper first, guys. I got no onion. That thing looks delicious. Mm. This thing is so delicious. I love Whoppers. I'm actually going to compare them to Big Macs pretty soon. <laughs> Let us begin. So I film. What did I eat earlier? <laughs> that chicken thing chicken fried steak video today as well. So this is after I went to the gym. Oh yeah. My dogs are going nuts over there. So I'm looking over there. So, me and Savannah just saw, let me finish. Just saw the movie Skin of a Rink. Have you guys seen it? If so, what are your thoughts? Honestly, in my opinion, I would either give it like a 6.5 out of 10. If you see the movie, it's not your normal movie. And I knew that going in. And then I also was like, hmm. How is this gonna like when I was reading the reviews I kind of had an idea of how it would go I didn't look at any spoilers but it's definitely a very artsy type movie and what I've seen from the reviews it kind of played out that way too but 6.5 out of 10 is what I would give it it's a lot of metaphors without spoiling anything I'd say go check it out when it gets on shutter however if you want to if I, we were too eager we heard so many stuff off like TikTok and everywhere that we had to go see in the movies <laughs> when well, i mean the movies added to the suspense when you go see a movie scary movies especially the sound the lights plays different than when if you go see it at your house mm. the swapper's good man what are you guys? Are you guys more of a Team Big Mac or a Team Whopper? I just love the Whopper. I love the taste of the grilled burger. It's so good. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get some of these fries. I'm going to go see where my other dog is. Where you at, Daisy? Okay, right there. Let's go into another question. I answered the, some of these. 
If you could create your ultimate dessert, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm, my ultimate dessert. It'd have to be carrot cake. Um, carrot cake with, this is hard. <laughs> excuse me. Maybe like, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Carrot cake cookie brownie or something like that. I've made something similar to that before for Buchholz brownies, but I feel like that would be pretty good. Carrot cake cookie brownie. Post in the comments what you guys would create. I'm quite curious. Oh yeah, catch up, baby. Holy smokes, that crunch, guys. These fries were delicious. Um, also, I got my I Prevail shirt on that my wonderful girlfriend Savannah got me. So if you guys are I Prevail fans, post in the comments your favorite song below. I didn't mention mine, but I'm a big fan of There's Fear in Letting Go. It's on their new album. Oh, they sold the mess out of those things. All right, guys, let's answer another question before going to desserts, baby. Oh, if you could create a life-size version of any board game, which would you choose? Oh, easy, Candyland, baby, let's go. Or shoots and ladders, but life is pretty much shoots and ladders. If you go to a playground, you're gonna find some, some ladders. I don't know if you'll, f I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with what I'm talking about, but. Um, Candyland would be sick. You get to like the chocolate land and you get to the lollipop land. I do not know all the lands in there. However, I have a sweet tooth. I think Candyland would be sick to be out and so Candyland it is. But I believe it'd be pretty cool, but that's pretty much just life. Look at that baby. I like her way to do salt it's a little hard <laughs> well that's crew salt oh Somebody gonna make my Ben and Jerry's ice cream sandwich. All right guys, so I got the milk and cookies Ben and Jerry's. Now, I cut like half of the top off. That's why it looks like this. There's, it's not that, it looks like that when you come get it. And then I put it on two white chocolate macadamia and chocolate chip cookies. They're a little smaller cookies than I thought they were gonna be, but this looks delicious. Oh, 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 oh. This is delicious, but so cold. Ooh. <laughs> this ice cream sandwich was a killer on my teeth, guys. So it was brutal. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend watching a new video and I'll catch you guys through the rest. Oh, so good. Holy smokes, that was cold. 
Oh yeah, just the Ben and Jerry's by itself. Milk and cookies. Oh, I can feel it in my bones, it's so cold. First time having the milk and cookies one, and it's a hit. It's good. Oh, holy cannoli, cold. Last bite, best bite. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I am freezing now. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. Thank you as always, you're the best. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, I'm out. Peace out.